a bipartisan group of four lawmakers on Tuesday announced a bill that would extend the school meal waivers that have been a lifeline for schools and families during the pandemic. The waivers were originally created as a part of pandemic relief at the start of 2020. They allow the Agriculture Department to waive various requirements that govern how schools can serve meals and who can get them. The waivers also increased the reimbursement rates for school food programs. Lawmakers failed to extend those waivers one more academic school year when they were excluded from the budget signed by President Joe Biden in March, resulting in a scramble for administrators and parents nationwide. School leaders and parents had weeks to prepare for summer meal programs without the waivers that allowed more summer meal sites. They also had to get up to speed on how fall meals would function with the return of free and reduced price meal applications and continued supply chain challenges that meant some foods were not always available. Debbie Stabenow, Democrat Michigan, and John Boozman, Republican Arkansas, and Reps. Bobby Scott, Democrat Virginia, and Virginia Fox, R.N. C have released the Keep Kids Fed Act with the goal of passing the bill out of both chambers and to Biden's desk before the waivers expire on June 30. The bill, which totals about $3 billion but is budget neutral to ease GOP concerns the effort would be too costly, would fully extend all waivers through the summer to allow meal deliveries and grab-and-go options for students. It would also extend supply chain flexibilities and higher reimbursement rates through the 2022-2023 school year. But the biggest omission is the exclusion of flexibilities that removed free and reduced price meal applications, giving every student free meals. That means that families would need to return to filling out applications to qualify. Time is running out.